Some people have asked what was Philadelphia like after the Second World War. A really vibrant city still, but it looked physically uh, impoverished. Uh, I use the example of City Hall itself. City Hall itself was a white building that was turned dark gray. And so the rest of the city was dark gray. Gray from pollution. Most of the buildings in Philadelphia were uh, heated and lit by coal. And so all this coal dust was all around the city and coated everything, including people. A banker in Philadelphia, if you were a good banker, would take two shirts, one to wear in the morning, which he wore to work, and then by noon, even though he was inside, he would take his second shirt out in the afternoon, put it on, so it would appear to be white. There was some ideas, federally, uh, that some money could be spent uh, at the city level and the state level. And I think that was the impetus for thinking about what could be done with something that was never here before, federal money. And that gave rise to people thinking about what should be done. At first it was very little money and it had restrictions on it, but then later, by the 50s, that money was real and one could depend on it. Uh, Eisenhower began the interstate highway system with federal money. And all of a sudden you could now go to locations that were distant on a new federal highway system that looked bright and clean and modern. 